This man had me at hello when I first saw him in Kingdom, and then he came on our studio to promote it because we were bar- born on audience, and so is Kingdom, which is such a dynamite show. And then he is just so terrific in absolutely everything that he he's done. Sitting on a sitting on a hill, justified. Uh, and, and I say that even though when he came on this show and he tried to flush my New York Yankee hat down the toilet because he's a diehard Red Sox fan. <laughs> he did. So uh, tonight, a new episode of Debris airs tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern on NBC. Debris about the argument that Red Sox fans are left with when they find out that Mookie Betts is left for the Dodgers. Oh, stop it. Jonathan on, Tucker man. here on the Rich Eisen Show. Is that, what oh, Debris, is, that, is that what Debris is about, Tucker? <laughs> is that what that's about? <laughs> you know, I got to tell you, I was just, I have a few things to say to you, but let me just start with this. I got a few things. Yes, sir. One, yes. One, yes. You crush Mondays. It's just a day where other people are slacking, and Rich Eisen just comes in so strong Thank you. and accomplishes the goals. It, it, it is a miracle and an inspiration to watch. So thank you. You should just say you're welcome. Well, the, <laughs> thing, yes. the second thing I'd like to say, yes. I was thinking about you this morning. I was like, you know, you really, you are doing, you're really doing it right, man. Okay. I mean, you kind of like do what you want, when you want. <laughs> you, you're, you, you have, you have an amazing show. Thank you're you. In like, you're in sports. You want to go see a game, you get access to it. You have an incredible, healthy family. Your wife, whom I've gotten the opportunity yes. to meet, yes. is she loves a you. total smoke show. <laughs> I mean, she's, she is beautiful. Oh. She's also incredibly smart, entrepreneurial, totally dynamic, entirely on her own right. Thank You're you, You're living in Southern California. Yes. You're a handsome man. Thank you, I mean, Things are going very, very well for Richard Ice. <laughs> so that means you don't want to talk about Mookie Betts, or is that what that means? Uh, or I mean, what a way to throw a wet blanket <laughs> on a nice, on a nice opening, on a nice opening diet side. You know, I think you know, you know what we feel about Mookie Betts. We put, we we actually put in our own fan money into a sign sending him a, a hope. <laughs> You saw, didn't, didn't you see that goodbye Mookie Betts uh, thing I that they put up in did. Boston? I did. I yeah. did, Jonathan. Yeah. I did. Forget him. Forget him. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Jonathan Tucker, everybody, here on the Rich Eisen <laughs> Show. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I do bring it on Mondays because I just it's it's what happens when I escape my children after being cooped up with them for two days. You know what I mean? Like, I just come here and it's just, I just come straight out of the gate and I just want to talk sports and just talk about stuff. You know, especially yeah, with friends winner, like you. It's a winner's habit, Richard. You got you got you're a champion on and off the field. You show up when everybody <laughs> else is tired and sleepy eyed, and you get the job done. Uh, you are too kind. You are too kind. Um, you're the Tom. You're the Tom Brady oh, of on air. Oh, oh wow! Well, we went to the same school, same great institution of higher learning, Michigan. Let's do it. You know who else is? You know who else is going to Michigan this year? Who's that? Is um, Mark Consuelos and Kelly Ripa's son is going to Michigan as a freshman. He got okay. accepted to a, a, a whole host of, uh, of schools in the rigorous college process. Okay. And he chose Michigan, and he's going to be wrestling uh, for University of Michigan uh, huh. next year. I didn't I'm know that. I'm going to be adopting the team. Uh, and I'm going to be going to as many possible meets as I can. I've already ordered my Michigan gear. Look at so you. you and I are finally going to find something. <laughs> in common ground. ground. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. And then, so are we going to have a, a show called Live with Kelly and Harbaugh? Is that what we're going to have? I mean, I would, I would I, I'd pay to I see that. I think it'd be good to get, you know, you got to get Mark on to talk about the wrestling uh, program there, which is, uh, you know, first rate. And maybe we can all go and see his son, um, Joaquin. Uh, on the mat. I sometime. did. I love it. We have something in common for the University of Michigan. Uh, John, yeah. Jonathan Tucker here uh, on the on the Rich Eisen show. Um, so, are you still attuned to MMA? You still follow that from from the Kingdom World, or have you moved? Oh my God! You, I can't get it out of my system. Is that right? I'm just obsessed with it. I can't get enough. And I got to tell you, you know, Dana Dana White. People, he, you know, that guy's got he he gets it left, right, and center. Um, he's got actual senators calling him irresponsible and totally inappropriate. And, um, you know, he's dead. What's his name? Not John Stewart, but, um, John Oliver, you know, doing a whole segment on Dana, trying to put on the, the UFC back in the beginning of the pandemic. And he totally pulled it off. I mean, he was the first sport back. They did it responsibly. They put people back to work. Um, they've taken the COVID protocols, in, you know, very, very uh, seriously. And um, 
They've provided a forum for people to do their jobs and to provide entertainment for folks around the world. And credit due where credit's due, um, I think we'll look back and be really impressed with uh, what he was able to pull off during this challenging period. Who's your favorite fighter? Who do you like? Who do you who who would you put down good God. hard-earned Tucker money to say you know what I want to watch this person fight or in, in, at any point during uh, you know I, I I'm really into like I, I love these folks who have um, just very different styles of fighting mm-hmm. like I love watching Dominic Cruz fight he, you know, he just came back with a big win I love watching folks like um, you know Stephen Wonderboy Thompson with his like long karate stance. Um, I like watching, you know, the, the women, that's one of the other things about MMA that people who aren't familiar with the sport don't really uh, appreciate or give credit to is that it's like other than tennis, it's the only sport that will headline a woman and sell out uh, and support it with the same advertising dollars as they would uh, for their male counterparts. Uh, so I, I, and the, the women have incredible uh, fighting personalities, you know, just their um, – you know, they, and I, maybe they feel like they've got something more to prove, but they just mm-hmm. always bring it. You're you're rarely going to be disappointed with a uh, with a female fight. Um, I just like the different styles. That's what I, what's so exciting about MMA is it's you get all these different kinds of fighters from all these different backgrounds, all different colors, different religions, different languages, and it doesn't matter where they came from, how much money they had or didn't have. You know, how do you step into that octagon or that ring, and what and and who are you going to be that day, Jonathan? And that's um, that's great. Jonathan Tucker here on the Rich Eisen Show. Let's talk about your show. Do you think that uh, in in real for real that UFOs exist? Do you think for real, based on uh, what do you think? You know, I don't know, man. I'm so concerned about like taking care of my two two year old twins and like. My anxiety over packing my bags in Vancouver and getting down here to L.A. Yeah. I guess I just don't really, or like, am I going to, you know, is the IRS going to audit me and I'm not going to have all the receipts, you know, stand me by? I got so many concerns. I'm like, I don't know. If there's intelligent life form out there, come on down, man. Let's, let's, let's powwow. The, the, uh, the New Yorker had a really great piece on this piece of debris that went flying through the uh, solar system recently. And they're like, we really don't know. Right how that was moving the way it was moving. And there's real serious folks who think that that was a UFO. And then you got wackadoo Harry Reid, who <laughs> turns out to kind of be right about this. <laughs> you know? Remember how much guff he got? Yeah, I know. To actually, talking about UFOs? Yeah, I know. Right. And, and, that... he's like, and lo and behold, what he didn't say was, hey, guys, I've been funneling hundreds of millions of dollars to this program, and we've seen real stuff. And people that we actually trust the most in this country, like Air Force pilots, uh, they have seen some things that seem yeah. a little out of place. Exactly. And this show is all about, you know, what's coming down from the sky and you and um, you and your, your your fellow cast members, Norbert Leo Butts, who is one of the most talented people that could. He you know, really is. That's, ever, you know, ever been on a screen stage, the whole the whole the whole nine yards. Fun stuff. Looks like you're having fun doing it. Jonathan? Uh, you know, I love being, um, I love being employed and <laughs> I love, and I love working with people that are, are not just really, t- I mean, the bar is obviously like be talented, be prepared, be excited to show up, bring new ideas. But, um, you also want to work with nice people. I don't know. I mean, how fast is your life going by, Rich? How fast are your kids growing up? You don't want to be hanging around with the sort of schmoes that you have on your show right now. You got to move on, dude. The Adam, that guy's got to go. <laughs> got to go. No, I mean, you want to be around nice people. You want to enjoy your life. You don't want to be bifurcating your life between things you accept because they're at work and the joy you get at home. Like, why can't you try to work with people who are nice? No, I agree with you. Did you just broadside my uh, call screener? Is that what you just? Yeah, Adam. Yeah. We were having a nice chat before. Nice guy. <laughs> He's a nice you guy. Gotta, you got to fire him. You got to go. <laughs> so you have two. You have two two-year-old twins, right? Yeah. Okay. They're so great. Okay. What is the when when they grow as they grow up? What is the last character you you've played that you'd want them to see Daddy on screen as? Oh God. At Give what age? Me. I don't know. I mean, I Give want to them me. to be proud of me. They you know, will be I, proud of you because you absolutely crush yeah. every role you're in, Jonathan. But you play some people who are a little bit, shall we say, off-center, to my, say the my, least. 
my buddy, before I had kids, my buddy Reed Burney, who's a um, an extraordinary actor, has got a handful of Tonys. Um, he said, you know, before he had kids, his biggest fear was that he'd have these kids and his kids would be on the schoolyard and they'd be like, what's your dad do? He's like, oh, he's an attorney. Oh, okay, what's your dad do? He's a doctor. All right, okay, what's your dad do? He's an actor. Oh, an actor. What's his name? Reed Burney. Reed Burney. Never heard of him. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I get that. That's a. It's a. It's a. It's totally like surface, but um, you know, you want your kids to be proud of the work they you're doing, will. to be proud of the person that you're doing. But um, so I think they're going to have to be a little older. Is the, is the yeah, boon before they watch Justified? Before they check yeah, it out. yeah, yeah. I like adult fair, man. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, so like, yeah, so T.J. Jefferson. Uh, uh, snuck Love this. He, he, <laughs> Love you too, he bro. snuck this. Uh, this Jonathan Tucker audience sort of star, uh, like a like a Walk of Fame star. That you did you sneak this out of an office, TJ? Is that what you did? Is that what you did? Look, um, it just it ended it up just here. Wound it, up here. <laughs> it ended up here, and I, I, I showed that to Tucker like two years ago, and I, so I sent him a picture. You of want it? it? I'll but, send it to you. But you know. It's a, I like. I prefer if you put it on your desk and keep it there, so you can look at it and think of me all the it's, time. Right? It's, yeah, it's, that's what I told him when I had it. He goes, "You should just yeah. keep it and look this at it." This is exclusively yeah. licensed by the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. I mean, this is serious business. It's right kind here. of safe home here. You okay. Know? Yeah. Clearly. <laughs> look, I <laughs> we'll love. Take care I of love it. But I'll tell you this: I love Directv. I mean, honestly, I'm never cutting that cord. That sports <laughs> package, that uh, it is ridiculous. It's so good. Because, like, I want to do the commercial for DirecTV where my wife's like, hey, we're going to brunch with my friends from college. And I'm like, ugh, I've got like three games I want to watch. And then, like, she's looking over at me, uh, you know, in one take where I'm like staring at the phone and sweating and freaking out because I want to watch the game. And the other one is like, I'm like, yeah, sure, honey, no problem. Because I've got, you know, the Sunday ticket. And I guarantee those games are going to be sitting there waiting for me. And in point of fact, uh, my love, I'm going to leave my phone at home. <laughs> like, it's such a winner of, a, of an entertainment package. And it is expensive. And I know how lucky I am to be able to afford it. But it is legitimately one of the best entertainment things that I have. And the remote control mm. can fast forward the exact amount of time <laughs> that it takes it's the so Patriots scary. to get it down. So I, as soon as the ball uh, okay. is declared dead, I click the button and I'm immediately on the next play. All right, fantastic. <laughs> I mean, that, yeah. that, no, that, boy, the, this this mock-up star is worth it for, for yeah. them to give it to him and ah, for all those years later. So good, dude. All right, How Jonathan, uh, I love chatting with you again. A new episode of Debris airs tonight at 10 Eastern time on NBC. It's about the 2020-21 Boston Celtics season. Um, oh it's going to be great. Come on, Next week's episode oh. is about the uh, the Brian Hoyer start of 2020 for the New England Patriots. Debris a great show, man. So congratulations on that. Hey, uh... <laughs> oh, it's just love. Nice. No, it's just uh, your 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 phone just cut out just at a perfect time. This it's it's also about uh, Jonathan Tucker's cell reception. No, that's the episode after that. <laughs> I, was, I didn't need that Celtics bet. I was out of there. I just lost him. I love Jonathan Tucker.